Okay, so we're going to start on this list that you got. So it's front and back. You should have this. If you don't have it, come see one of us to get this list or look on Byboard. So we're going to start with this heart so that you can see these structures relatively easily. So if you start here, you have your bacon cheese sandwich. So this one right here is going to be your subclavian, which is the first one on your list. And then you have common carotid. So this is your carotid. And then you have brachiocephalic, which is here. And your brachiocephalic trunk is just going to be where it comes off of the aorta. And then you have the ascending aorta, which is here. Aortic arch or arch of the aorta. You'll hear it called both of those. It's right here. Descending aorta is anywhere where it starts to go down. Ligamentum arteriosum is right here. So you have ductus arteriosus, which allows blood, su blood supply in a fetus from the pulmonary trunk to the aorta. So that becomes a ligament known as ligamentum arteriosum, which is right there. That, that one's easy to see. Then you have the pulmonary trunk, which is right here, which comes up from the pulmonary semilunar valve, which is right here. So there's the pulmonary trunk. The next is the pulmonary arteries. So you're going to have pulmonary trunk. Pulmonary arteries are here. Pulmonary arteries also come back through here on the other side. And then you have pulmonary veins, which are down here. The key thing you should know is those are opposite colored because pulmonary arteries haven't picked up oxygen yet. So think on a heart, pulmonary arteries and veins are opposite colored. Superior vena cava, which we talked about earlier, is right here. Inferior vena cava is right here. Then you have right atrium, which is here. Right ventricle, which is here. Left atrium, left ventricle. And when you open this up, it's easier to see the interventricular septum, which is here, which divides the right and the left side of the heart. We're gonna go ahead and skip down here and then we'll come back. Um, at the bottom you have the apex of the heart, and at the top you'll have the base of the heart. The coronary sinus is going to be inside the right atrium. The coronary sinus is right there. And then this would be the opening where you go between the atrium, which in fetal circulation, this little bitty dot right here, is going to be your foramen ovale, which becomes the fossa ovalis. All right, the other ones that you have on your list here are tricuspid valve, which is right here, right there on this side, bicuspid valve over here, which is also called the mitral valve. And then it's, let's go to this model. You have these little strings here. Your heart really does have heart strings. So these are called cordae tendinae. And then you have papillary muscles. I think you can see it right here. You would have a papillary muscle, which I say is the little knots underneath in the ventricles down here at the bottom. And then you have the pulmonary semilunar valve, which is right here. And then you have the aortic semilunar valve, which is going to be right there. 